Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where we always say, don't worry, be happy, because every little thing is going to be alright. Today, a short TA Bitcoin update on the 1st of May, let's see how the week closed, let's see how the month closed, let's see how this meme coin I aped in this weekend did, it's crazy stuff happening at the moment with meme coins, and also sharing three amazing charts guys, um, let's quickly jump into this video on this beautiful morning here in Lagos, Portugal, now the first chart that I want to share with you is BAM over here, and uh, this is the 4 hour chart like you used to me, and um, yesterday there was a long signal on the BAM BAM, indicator but there was a lot of yellowish still in the chart so that's a uh, not a confirmation of the long the long was uh, called the candle was closing above the yellow stepping line but the bollinger band was not that white it was a very small bollinger band there was yellow on the bottom and the white line was pretty flat uh, the blue line did cross so it's a mixed signal um, if you took the long you should have exited the long also in the four hour if you trade four hours uh, you could also be patient because you have a stop loss and uh, yeah we dropped a little bit and uh, we could still go up to that 30k level again that's how the bitcoin chart moves if you trade in the four hour you should be more patient than if you trade of course in the 15. now that short signal over there um, it was a very short um, small profit at the moment you know it's a strange market at the moment sideways market um, but we do see that Bitcoin is trying to break that 30k now if we zoom out a little bit we can see the Gaussian channel and that Gaussian channel we can see we still didn't flip um, green I uh, see a lot of influences uh, showing you that the Gaussian channel flipped green. On the official 5-day chart, it didn't flip green at all. So for me, I'm always looking at the 5-day chart. Yes, um, if you uh, change the chart to a 3-day chart, 3-day chart, yeah, then it flipped green. And even on the 4-day chart, yes, it also flipped green. But historically, we have always been looking at the 5-day chart. Why? Look, because if you look at these three day charts for example you see a lot of red and green and if you just look at the five day chart it's way more clean and it's really beautiful green or red so for me the five day chart still needs to flip green but it's looking positive as the three and the four day are already flipped green did already flip green now the weekly guys we had a beautiful weekly candle you can see the previous week uh, we had a bearish candle uh, we opened at that moment at 30k we closed at 27500 last week we opened at 27500 and we closed this beautiful candle at 29200 i would have loved it a little bit more if it was with would have been 29,500, but it's just still a beautiful close. Um, this candle, of course, has still six days, the new one. But you can see uh, we are moving beautifully sideways between a 30K over here and a 27K. Amazing movement in Bitcoins. For me, it's okay if it goes sideways, up and down. It's nice to trade. And then there will be a moment we'll explode all the way up to 32K and maybe even 35 or 36K, in my opinion. Bullish moves in Bitcoin uh, for me. But I will show you later why. Now, the monthly chart guys uh, for the ones that never saw this chart yet uh, i'm going to share it once again this is the chart i made already more than a year ago and um, you can see that in my videos if you now pause the chart you can see all the numbers beautifully um, calculated there uh, you can see that from the bottom it took 32 bars to, till the top um, 34 bars till the top in the last time from the bottom to the halving it took 70 bars from the bottom to the new all-time high it took 24 bars uh, from the halving to the top it took 17 bars every time 17 bars is a monthly chart and um, so if you calculate these numbers yes it can take 33 uh, bars from the bottom to the top which would bring us in august 2025 uh, we can see the bottom from the hollowing again was 16 bars and here from the above bottom to the new autumn high the new autumn high would be reached somewhere in september 24. so we are still very early in this bull market it is still 23 we have a lot of months to go till the halving almost a year um, and then we can still need another month a couple of months to you know uh, break that previous autumn high and make a new all-time high completely at the bull run top in September, August 2025. So pause the video, check the numbers, zoom out. <clears throat> now, uh, something strange happened. Uh, this weekend, I was uh, looking at some meme coins. I saw Pupita. Uh, I was drunk. I needed some pizza. So that's probably why I looked at Pupita. Uh, the, the, I bought it very cheap. Um, it's up like almost 500% at the moment. Um, 
is this a, is this a, like this is really a meme coin like it's a meme coin that is going after pepe i think it's going down a little bit again <laughs> it went almost to uh, um 0.05087 Five one now it went all the way up to 1100 uh, it's a meme coin guys sometimes it's nice to play with meme coins as well it's the, you, the whole industry yes i'm a bitcoin maximalist yes but i also like nfts and yes i also like some meme coins you know dogecoin was one of my first meme coin i told people yesterday in my life i bought some pizza <laughs> and then it was still around 11 somewhere down here like so pumped 500 percent um the market cap of this meme coin at the moment is three million here it's three million if it will go to pepe's market cap i think it's 500 million uh, that's like uh, times 100 from here again so um i will i sold a little bit of it of course to break even with my investment and the rest i will let run because i believe that this is going to go way higher meme coins are in a trend at the moment now that was the fun part of the video <laughs> meme coin now let's quickly jump into some amazing charts um over here bam this is the first one guys uh, on this chart you can see something really cool here you can see um exactly how the bitcoin cycle bottom index works so from the bottom we can see um over here that's the bottom from that moment till the halving how bitcoin is moving the red line is the halving so we can see that we are mostly going up uh, towards the halving so towards the halving we will probably in my opinion be, be in my opinion be between 40 and 50k in the halving and from that moment we will again go into a bull market top so the first time we went uh, over here you can see it's 539 times we went 112 times we went 21 times the bottom and um, what will we do this time the bottom was like six, say 16k are we going to go 10 times 10 times would be 160k are we only going to go five times five times would be 80k so there's uh, a lot of possibilities i believe we will end up somewhere between 120 and 150k uh, but that's me that's me you know i'm always cautious in my predictions i'm never going to say it's 400k or 500k you never know what happens of course if the bitcoin if the dollar crashes yeah we might go higher now on this chart guys we can see um, the same uh, but then it's uh, simplified a little bit and um, the cycle ball index as well but now the doublings so um as you can see in the previous runs for example over here the red one that is the 2015 line you can see up there the uh, white one is the 2018 and then now the 2022 so um the red line we doubled seven times so from the cycle bottom so we doubled seven times so that is like from um, the bottom of 1200 for example we went times seven times doubling so then you arrive around 20k now this time here the white one that's the last bull market top uh, we had around four and a half four and a half doubling so yes that is from 3k to 6k to 12k to 24k and um, to 48k and then another 10k 20k i read it you are at 70k so that's four and a half times doubling now this time how often are we gonna double from 16k will we end somewhere here between three two and three will it be three i think it will be around three for example that would lead to 126k because 16k times two is 32k is 64k is around 126k so that's where i think we should be ending up with this bull market really cool these charts isn't it it's all data <laughs> beautiful um that's why i believe so hard in bitcoin because it's really beautiful um, if you understand there's only 21 million bitcoins the halving cycles um, and then you can understand as well that the calculations are pretty simple but you start to, you just need to start believing over here we can see the uh, bitcoin spiral also halving cycle um, on this chart you can see this is the moment of the pizza part <laughs> you can call it the pizza this slice is where the halving is this slice is mostly where the uh, bull market top is this slice is mostly where the bottom is over there so we had the bottom of course we can see that over here now this halving is going to continue uh, probably ending somewhere around there in that line that which would in my opinion be around 40k and then the top would be above this 100k level in my opinion 
because else it would be going down below the other, other orange line. This is a very simplified spiral chart, but I really love this chart, guys. Now, um, I think that was everything for today for me because I had a pretty tough weekend. I, I drank a little bit too much on Friday. I need to recover Saturday. Yesterday I did it one hour or one half hour long. And today I need to prepare some stuff because we are going to go to Spain for a couple of days for a beautiful birthday of my father-in-law, Claudio. Um, so yes, uh, busy, busy, busy. Um, I hope though that you enjoyed this video and all the charts and all the information and all the meme coins. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to your channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. And please don't forget, if you want to trade, click the links down below. Go to Bybit if you want to trade with a beautiful leverage in a centralized way because KYC from 8 May. And if you want to do it completely decentralized, then click the link and, and sign up to Apex Pro because guys, there is also a bonus and there is a lot of privacy and decentralized options of trading even perpetual swap and all that stuff now thank you for watching see you tomorrow again 